Raleigh. Welcome back to my channel. If it's your first time here, welcome. I'm so happy to have you. My name is Reese and today I'm going to show you guys how I achieve these curls on this synthetic hair. But before I do, be sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe down below so that you can get notified when I upload new videos. So I know it's been such a long time since I've literally like came and talked to you guys. So it feels good. Like, I've been slacking, I'm not gonna lie, but I'm not going anywhere. I made a bunch of videos today, so be on the lookout for those. Some DIY, some story times for like the first time ever. So I'm super excited just to be back. And yeah, if you wanna see how I got these curls, then just keep on watching. All right guys, so this is the hair that I'm using for this style. Yes, I did install a crochet in my hair. And I use about one and a half packs of this and you can get it from your local beauty supply store so the first thing I did was I got this conditioner and I applied it to my whole head and then I'm going to go ahead and just detangle the hair so that there are no knots when I begin so you're gonna section your hair off I did three sections on the left side and four on the right and you're just gonna go ahead and twist down the length of the hair and you just want to twist until you get to the end and once you get to the end you're going to continue twisting the hair so it gets super duper tight and once it gets tight it will start to form a little snake like looking thing and it's gonna get super tight and that's what you want so that you can go ahead and wrap the hair around itself creating this kind of bantu knot towards the middle of the twist so once you are done twisting your bantu knot, you're going to grab a rubber band and go ahead and secure the end of the hair so that the bantu knot does not come out. So you're going to want to repeat these exact same steps on all the sections of your hair. Like I said, I have three sections on my left side and four on the right side. So I'm going to go ahead and speed it up this time. So the exact same thing, just go ahead and twist all the way down. Once you get to the end, continue to twist so that it can form a little curl around itself, creating that bantu knot. Then grabbing a rubber band and securing that hair in place so that it does not come out. So once you are done with all of your bantu knots, you can now move on to the next step which is dipping the hair in hot water so this is a mug filled with water that I microwaved for about three minutes you're just gonna dip the bantu knot into the hot water make sure you have a towel because it will be very hot and I left it in there for probably about 30 seconds then you can squeeze the hair dry so you can definitely do two at a time if they're close enough like I did here once again just dipping it for about 30 seconds and then letting it drip onto the towel and squeezing it out so that it gets dry so i did leave these bantu knots in to air dry for about an hour i took a shower and like got ready um, but you don't have to because synthetic hair does set as soon as the hot water hits it so after you let it dry, you can go ahead and take the rubber band off, unravel the bantu knot, and this is how the texture looks. It's so pretty, and you can see my real hair next to it. So now that you're done with that, you're just going to go ahead and untwist the actual twist. And once you are done untwisting, it'll look something like this. And then you can go ahead and separate each of those sections and just fluff the hair out the same way that you would do your natural hair when you're doing a twist out. So this is how the hair looks now that I've separated everything. It's so pretty and curly. But to get the fullness that I want, I am going to go ahead and take my pick and just fluff out the roots the same way that you would do your natural hair to get it's super full and voluminous and natural looking natural hair goals <laughs> so yeah this is how it looks and after you're done and it's 
as thick as you want you can go ahead and style it however you like so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this super quick and easy tutorial don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel so that you can get notified when i upload new videos thank you guys so much and i will see you next time